just this slide is is basically to uh, to give you an overview of the Michelin supply chain. Uh, Michelin is a quite big integrated company, so we have overall eight level in our in our supply chain. Three manufacturing level plus supplier. We have 120 industrial activities over the world, everywhere, cable, synthetic rubber, mixes, and obviously finished product, making ties. And we are making, we are also making tires for uh, all, ty all type of vehicles, two wheels, mining, truck, passenger, etc., etc. That's the industrial part. And then we have the, uh, the, the distribution part where we have two levels of warehouse and we are, uh, we are uh, holding 3.5 million square meter of warehouse plus two levels of customers. Okay. And different up type of uh, tires. This is a current one. This is uh, a concept one. Next generation, 2050. Okay, so this is globally the, an overview of the supply chain. The total lead time is six months, quite long. Logistic cost is 1.9 billion euro per year. We are holding uh, almost 4 billion euro in inventory which doesn't make happy our financial directors. And uh, for the rest, I have already uh, comment. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit digital twins and digital twins for manufacturing and supply chain. Obviously, Michelin has done digital twins for tire for years, years, 30 or 30 years, just to simulate how a tires is working on a road. But here we are talking about digital twins for supply chain and, and uh, manufacturing. Even for that, we have different cases. This is the one, the first one, it's how the horizon is strategic and tactical. And this is one, the one that we are going to uh, explain a little bit more in detail with the help of Cosmotech. And it's uh, basically, where am I going to produce my tire? Then you have at a different horizon level, operational, what we call operational and tactical. We have, uh, we have and it's flow optimization between plants. For those who are familiar with, uh, with supply chain, you may, you, you may heard about the famous or infamous bullwhip effect. When you have a signal, with a variability of one here, one, two, three, three steps above, uh, above your, your the variability of your signal is four. So how can you simulate that? that? How can you define where is that come from? And then you have the, I would say, the classical digital twin is in, in, inside a plant. It's a dynamic simulation of plant flow. So we're going to show you one example of the of digital twin, but keep in mind that there are several types of problems that we need to solve with digital twins. And the tools and the parameters and the horizon are not necessarily the same.